the bedding is not theoretically part of the ceremony, but it's a tradition. In this world, that's a, that's a ritual. This is what people did at weddings. The consummation of the marriage was a big part of the marriage. It's one thing to say the vows, but you actually want to show that the marriage was consummated. So after the wedding, there will be a wedding feast that will last for many hours with drinking and dancing and music. But at a certain point, when, when you reach the bedding, the men and the women will separate and the, the men will pick up the bride and carry her up to the nuptial chamber and undress her along the way and deliver her naked to the bed and the women will do the same thing to the husband. Your wedding night was a much more public affair in the Middle Ages than, uh, than it is today. They'll be carried up separately, usually the bride first, so she's naked in bed when the husband comes up, and, and he's naked by then too, and there's a lot of bawdy jokes and uh, ribald commentary and suggestions, and, you know, um, it's, it's a very kind of bawdy sexual sort of occasion. And then they'll throw them in bed together, and they'll sort of wait nearby. They won't actually watch the the bedding, but it's expected that, uh, you know, the, the marriage will be consummated at that point.